Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is now 5.30, and I will call this regular meeting of the Burnsville City Council to order. It is our tradition to stand for a moment of silence, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance, and we invite you to join us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have announcements for all of our upcoming meetings and we have one proclamation. Regular council meetings are scheduled for Tuesday, December 4th and December 18th at 5.30 p.m. We have a work session scheduled for Tuesday, November 27th that is canceled. And we have a work session scheduled for Tuesday, December 11th at 5.30 p.m. Our truth and taxation meetings, uh, our budget work session for the 27th is ca canceled and we will adopt the budget and the final tax levy on December 4th at 6 p.m. And we have one proclamation, and the proclamation has to do with National Veterans Month. Whereas the freedom and rights enjoyed by all Americans depend on the courageous men and women who respond to the call of duty to defend their country. And whereas our veterans have answered the call to defend our nation and our freedom, facing danger with courage and making great sacrifices by leaving their families to serve throughout the nation and in combat, contingency, and humanitarian operations across the world. Whereas the families of our servicemen and women endure the hardship and uncertainty of re relocations, extended training, and deployments because of their admirable devotion to our country and a loved one in uniform. Whereas it is imperative that all citizens understand the challenges, duties, and sacrifices of our servicemen and women, as well as the personal sacrifices of their families for the rights and freedom of all, and to acknowledge and honor what they have done and what they do every day to support our nation. Whereas the City Council of the City of Burnsville wishes to honor them and all veterans who through their valiant deeds have lost their lives or have become disabled in the performance of their duties. Now therefore, be it resolved that I, Elizabeth Couts, Mayor of the City of Burnsville on behalf of the City Council, formally recognize our veterans and their families for their faithful and loyal devotion to their responsibilities and join with the White House to proclaim November 2018 as National Veterans Month in Burnsville, Minnesota, and publicly salute the veterans and their families in our community and in communities across the nation. Proclaim this 20th day of November 2018. And I'd like to then recognize all of those veterans who are, are our employees here at the city of Burnsville. Dane, Alec Navishis, he's in our police department. Spencer Angel, police department. Bradley Savenka, maintenance center. Jacob Griebel, police department. Daniel Hale, fire department. Holly Helm, police department. Ryan Huss, IT. Erica Houston, police department. Javier Jimenez, police department. Jeffrey Klingfuss, police department. David Luxinger, Police Department, Jerry Luck Smith, Administrative Assistant, Luke Miller, Fire Department, John Mott, Police Department, Jameson Ritter, Police Department, Kevin Thorison, Maintenance Department, Andrew Vick, Fire Department, Dan Roots, Golf Course. And on the dais, Council Member Keeley has a stepson in the U.S. Marine Corps, uh, Council Member uh, Coughlin has a brother who served in the military. Council member Gustafson was in the army. Council member Kara Schultz 
also served in the military. And my late husband, David Couch, served in the Marine Corps and was a veteran of the Vietnam War. And um, Ted Oakland, who is in our inspections department, is also um, a veteran. Now, anybody else around here have a family member who served? Uh, Madam Mayor, both of my parents uh, served during the Vietnam War. And then Jenny Faulkner's parents. And then, uh, but we want to honor those military uh, services to our country, and we thank every, all of them for their service. It is the season of gratitude. And so we move on. The next item is citizens' comments. This is the opportunity for anyone in the audience to address the council on an item that is not in a printed agenda and not an application form that will be coming before us at a future date. Is there anyone who wishes to address the council? Anyone who wishes to address the council? Seeing no one, we will move on. The next item is for emergency items only, and this is uh, for the final agenda. Ms. Hardy, are there any uh, emergency items to come before the body? None from staff, Madam Mayor. Members of the council? No. Okay, thank you. We then move on to the consent agenda. The consent agenda is a group of items that's considered to be routine and will be enacted by one motion. However, an item on a consent agenda can be removed for a separate discussion and vote. Is there anyone in the audience who wishes an item on a consent agenda to, remo to be removed for a separate discussion and vote? Ms. Hardy? None from staff, Madam Mayor. Members of the council? Uh, members of the council, I would like item C to be removed for a separate <coughs> discussion and vote. I think the members of our community need to hear this good news. So may I have a motion for the balance, please? Motion balance. Second. Uh, Councilmember Keeley makes the motion. Second by Councilmember Coughlin. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. And the motion carries. Um, C is a resolution to award the sale of our GO tax abatement Improvement and Utility Bond Series 2018. Our finance director, Mrs. Kelly Stry, is presenting. Mrs. Stry. Madam Mayor, council members, um, so we have some very good news this evening. Um, pleased to announce that we had a large number of bids on our bonds today. But tell everybody that we are still a? AAA rated city, yes. Um, so as, as we talked about at uh, your last work session, uh, we had just received our uh, affirmation of, from uh, Standard & Poor's that we have the highest bond rating. And that really led to uh, this wonderful uh, results on these bids. Uh, we had eight bids, which is uh, more than I can remember, when we um, sold yeah. the last bond issue, we had yeah. six, and, and we were told that was a lot. Um, mm -hmm. So eight bids is great. Uh, our, our financial advisor actually told me this morning that um, half an hour after our bids, uh, they had another one that was not AAA, and it received half the bids that we received. So yeah. that is the... Um, the, the hard work that you do and um, that you, the policies, financial policies and um, decisions and the five-year planning that you do in the budget process that really led you to that. Um, so we had um, uh, a, called for the sale of 8,105,000 of general obligation bonds maturing over 15 years. That was to finance 1.2 million for the ice center roof replacement, 1.5 million for improvement special assessments, 2.4 for utility improvement projects, and 3.8 to refund outstanding bonds on the city's ice center to achieve interest savings. Um, the uh, market interest rates had risen slightly from uh, the time that the estimates uh, were given, but uh, we uh, all the bids were significantly lower than the preliminary estimates anyway. Um, the low bid was received from Baird of Milwaukee with a true interest cost of 2.72% wow. for 15 wow. years. Uh, the preliminary projections done by Ellers, the city's municipal advisor, projected a true interest cost of 2.84. And as I said, market rates had actually risen in the last few, re few weeks. So, uh, so I think we can be quite happy with the 2.7. 
Uh, the total interest savings on the refunding for the ICE Center is 473000 over the remaining life. So uh, when yeah. we talked at budget yeah. uh, last week, we were talking about 440000 of uh, projected savings. So we were able to improve that um, significantly. Uh, you will notice that the par value on the resolution before you this evening is seven million six sixty-five, which is lower than the original call of eight million one hundred five. That's because all the bids had high premium bids. Um, the, so, which that means that the coupon rates on the the bids that came in were significantly higher than the yields, and so uh, we were able to. Uh, restructure to reduce the principal so that the total proceeds of the par and premium match the financing needs of the projects. And so with that, uh, staff recommends that you accept the low bid on the um, bond issue, and I stand for questions. Well, I don't have any questions, but I do have a comment. Mrs. Stry, Ms. Hardy, and to the team, we may put in place great financial uh, policies, but at the end of the day, you execute them and you do it with excellence. And I want to thank you all because of your great work, not only with our consultants, but also with the rating agencies because you have to talk to them about what's going on here. Uh, this is why we're a AAA bond rated city and uh, we have such great results because this is what the citizens of Burnsville expect of us. So I thank you. Members of the council. Motion to approve. Second. Council member uh, Coffin makes the motion, second by council member Keeley. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay, <coughs> and the motion carries. <coughs> Thank you. Um, and now we move on to the regular agenda, and there is only one item on the regular agenda, and this is the appointment of Melanie Muscoli as city manager and to approve the employment agreement that is before us. Good evening, Madam Mayor, members of the council. As you know, former uh, city manager Johnston resigned from, uh, submitted her resignation to council in June of this year, and that initiated a regional wide search for a new city manager to lead our organization. On November 5th of this year, Council, you all selected Ms. Melanie Mesco Lee to fill that position. As is customary, the city manager, with the city manager position, Council must act, um, enact or approve an employment agreement. And that is what is before you here this evening. Uh, the agreement in, was, the full agreement was in your backgrounds. And you will find um, similar provisions to former city manager contracts or employment agreements. However, with this particular agreement, there are three provisions that were added, uh, which is why this is on regular council or on the regular agenda this evening. We want to make sure that um, council is aware of those provisions. And I'll just briefly walk you through what those are. Uh, number one, council will take into account benchmark salaries of comparable cities and internal pay relationship to maintain a reasonable and appropriate separation of salary between Ms. Lee and the next highest compensated employee. The second provision is that Ms. Lee's performance evaluations be subject to an objective process based on goals and measurable data or measurable criteria and of which that are mutually agreed upon by both uh, the council and Ms. Lee. And the third and final provision is that Ms. Lee, if she were to voluntarily resign her position, the city would agree to pay her for the accrued vacation leave. This is consistent with city policies, and Ms. Lee would not be entitled to termination pay. Uh, these three provisions are consistent with uh, our internal policies, so staff um, uh, does recommend approval of those provisions. The action before council this evening is to appoint Ms. Lee to city manager effective January 14th of 2019 and approve the employment agreement for a one-year term spanning 2019 to 2020. Ms. Sharon Klump uh, with Springstead who oversaw the process for the city manager search is here in the audience this evening and um, is available to answer any questions. And we're also pleased to have Ms. Lee here with us this evening. Okay. Any questions, comments? You don't look fine to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. And um, 
One of the things that uh, I just want to comment on this evening, members of the council and to the Burnsville community, that it is with many mixed emotions that I will intend to vote yes for this item this evening. I'm very committed to our city, to this organization, our staff, and I'm optimistic for Burnsville's future. I'm also anxious uh, about the path that has been chosen. We are placing our trust and faith in Ms. Lee uh, that she will rise to the occasion, that she will meet the high expectations of this council, our staff, and our community. This will be no small task. You come to us, Ms. Lee, um, to a city that is three times larger than the city you now are in and very complex. However, I remain optimistic because, Ms. Lee, you're not going to be doing this alone. You will be joining a team of extremely intelligent, knowledgeable, professional, and experienced staff, a staff that I trust and care about deeply, from our management team to our frontline workers, our community residents and businesses have always rated our staff and their services to our community in the 80, 98th percentile in all our community surveys, and it is done by a third party. In my 23 years as mayor, I don't know that I've ever experienced a management team and staff that is high functioning, works collaboratively, effectively, and so intelligent Lee. I have never experienced anyone with egos. It isn't about me or my department or my budget. It is truly about working towards delivering the best service to our great city and making our city better. Each and every day, we ask these men and women to navigate extremely complex situations to figure out how to make sense of our directions and implement policies and to do what is best for Burnsville. Each and every day they do it extraordinarily well. Our staff needs to know that they have our support and I support our staff. So Ms. Lee, you will need to learn from them and need to trust their expertise and knowledge. And most importantly, you will need to gain their trust. If not, we won't succeed. They are there to help you be successful, and we are here to help you be successful. An organization is built on trust, respect, and positive relationships. And it isn't a negative when people work well together. It is a goal every organization should strive for. We have that here in Burnsville, and our next city manager will need to build and grow upon our culture and foundation. For our Burnsville community and our staff, I'm hopeful that you will do well. I welcome you, and I wish for you to succeed because it is about Burnsville at the end of the day and for this wonderful community and what they expect from us. We are approaching Thanksgiving and the Christmas season, and I am think thinking of gratitude at this time and the magic of Christmas. I am grateful for our staff, our Burnsville community, and businesses, and my colleagues on the council. May we all experience the Christmas spirit with peace and joy. And members of the council, we have a motion before us, and Council I Member Schultz. I believe we have people to speak. Thank you. Council, council Member Schultz. I am extremely excited to welcome Melanie as our new city manager. The search brought us so many qualified candidates, and we had um, so many of them that would have made an excellent city manager. So to, to pick one out of that was difficult, 
but I think we definitely made the right choice. And I am so excited to welcome you to be back in Burnsville. Since you are a graduate of Burnsville High School, it's always nice to have a graduate come back home. And it's also been nice to hear from people who have worked with you, uh, who say they will miss you, they will miss your leadership. Uh, they were so pleased to work with you and be mentored by you. I have been hearing from city council members, other people in county government, all saying what a stellar choice we made and how fortunate we are. And I do believe that. And you absolutely will have the support of staff, which is amazing. We do have an excellent staff. And the city council. We stand firmly with you. And this is going to be a wonderful time. I look forward to working closely with you. Thank you. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Council Member Coughlin. Well, I'm ready to make the motion. Council Member Coughlin, may you make that motion? I am honored to make the motion and welcome uh, Melanie Mesco Lee as his new city manager, and may we approve her uh, appointment and her contract. I second that happily. There's a motion and a second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay, and the motion carries. Welcome. Members of the council, there are no other items to come before us this evening, and a motion to adjourn is in order. So moved. Council Member Coughlin makes the motion. Second. Second by Council Member Keeley. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed, say nay, and a motion carries. Good night. Thank you for being with us, and have a happy Thanksgiving.